Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel The Crafty Closet. So today I'm gonna be giving you guys a really simple, easy way to layer. We're gonna call it layering one, two, three. So for this project, you're going to need a t-shirt. You're going to need some heat transfer vinyl. Now I'm using the colors of black and white, and this is the HTV Romp brand. And then we're gonna be putting a little extra on it. So I'm using a ombre glitter vinyl, and this is by the company Tint Nut. We use their puff uh, vinyl in a video a while back. If you haven't seen that, then check it out. And this is great because you get like four sheets and all of the colors are really like really cool colors. Like they're all mixed together, but we're gonna be using this sheet for our project. And of course you're going to need your fabric measuring tape, your weeding tool, and of course your heat press. Want to know how to layer in a simple, easy way? As simple as one, two, three? Then you know what you gotta do. You gotta stick around. Okay, my beautiful crafties, we're going to get into this layering project and we're calling it layering one, two, three. I'm going to give you guys a simple and easy way to layer. So for this image, everything we need is in Cricut Design Space. We're going to put it together ourselves. So you're going to go to your text and you're going to go to your font. And the font we're going to be using for this is the BFC Jelly. This is a cute font, it's a little quirky, and that's why I chose it. And a simple, easy way to learn how to layer, if you're still struggling with it. Now I know most people are struggling with layering because you don't know how long to layer each piece. So that's why I'm here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change this and we're gonna put the word social. Okay, so y'all like that? Now I'm going to change this. I'm just gonna change it to a silver. Simply because this is the first, this is, gonna, this is going to be the top layer of our project. And this is that glitter, but it's an ombre. So that's the first layer that we're going to do. Now, of course, this is too big for what I'm doing. 16 by 3. Mm -mm. So let's go ahead and unlock it. We're going to bring it in. So I'm just going to bring it in because my shirt is going to be like, well, like 9. I'm doing 9. This time I'm doing it a little bigger, so I'm doing 9 and 3, and this is by 3 and 6, right? Like it, that's all I need, it works for me. Next, you're going to add your second layer, so to add your second layer, you're going to go to your offset. Now, y'all know I usually like a nice thin offset, but I'm teaching you guys how to layer, so this is going to be a nice chunky offset. So this is our second offset. We're going with the curve because we wanted to, you know, facilitate and imitate our social word here. And now 0.25 is a good, it is good for our second layer. We're going to go ahead and hit apply. And now what are we doing? I said apply. Okay, there you go. So now, now second layer is going to be that gray. And now our third layer is going to be... Another color. We're going. We're gonna stick with the 0.25 because again, it gives a, ni a nice, chunky uh, layering, which is what we want. So I can teach you guys how to layer as easy as one, two, three. So now we have our third layer. We're keeping it at 1.25. We're going to hit apply again, and there you go. Now we're gonna change that third layer to white because y'all know I just like to really be visual with what I'm doing. And here we go. Remember, this is going to be our ombre glitter vinyl. And these next two layers, our black and our white, are just going to be our regular heat transfer vinyl. So that's it. This is all we need for our layering project. Oh, no, it's not. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to give you a little extra because you know that's what I do. Now we're going to do a play on words. So now we have the word social because this is going on our shirt. And next we're going to go to our images right now i already have this image saved you can use whatever image you want but i'm going to go ahead and look 
for the image I have say saved. I said sage. Man, maybe I do need to sage, y'all. <laughs> so saved, and I'm gonna go to my bookmark. My bookmark. Now I have a lot of really cute butterflies bookmark. This one, I didn't want to. I didn't feel like weeding it all together, y'all. So we're just gonna go with this simple butterfly right here. We're going to add it to our canvas because I'm trying to make this as simple and easy as possible for y'all. So now, there we go. We have our. Oh, sorry, y'all. We have our butterfly. Let's bring. Miss Butterfly over here. Let's move this over right here. I'm going to move it down so you guys can see it. And now my butterfly is going to, of course, it's too big for our shirt. So we're just going to turn it to where I actually wanted to position it on the t shirt. I'm just going to bring it in so that it's not too big, not too overwhelming on the shirt. So now our butterfly is 3.15 by 2.53. That's a good um, layer for our butterfly. Now what I'm going to do, because of course, you know, just got to razzle, dazzle, give you a little extra because I really am extra. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to duplicate this butterfly. And what we're going to do with this duplicated butterfly is this second butterfly that we duplicated is going to be, we're going to use the glitter vinyl on top of this first black heat transfer vinyl. Just make it, you know, come all together. You always want your stuff to pop. At least I do. So now I'm going to go ahead to my gray. Remember, this is going to be our ombre glitter vinyl. I'm going to position you over here like so. Cool, right? I think this is really good. So this is all we need for our easy layer one, two, three project. I'm going to go ahead, let me move you over here, and let's put you on the shirt. Because y'all know, if it ain't visual, I don't want it. So we're going to go ahead and put it on a t-shirt. Now, I made this shirt before for my son, and he lost it, so I decided to do it over. And what better way to show you guys how to do easy, easy layering by redoing the shirt. So now, let's go to our shirt. The shirt I have is black. So this is this is a, a men's medium and this shirt is black and I'll go ahead and remove my grid boxes I'm going to go ahead and bring this up here now I'm going to change my butterfly layer because she is going to be gray now my first layer this is the first layer right she's going to be white and now, of course, my second layer is the, this is going to be the glitter. So remember, keep it in your head that that's going to be the glitter. And that's it. I like everything about this layering project. So now, as you can see, it's easy to put the image together. But then, when it comes to layering, that's the part that you guys got to pay attention to. Because normally, the problems arise when you don't know how many minutes and seconds, excuse me, to layer your project. So. As always, I appreciate you for watching. Don't forget to stick around right after this portion so I can show you guys how many seconds you need to layer this image and just layering in general when you're using multiple layers so you don't have to struggle and all of your projects will come out great. Uh, this is the Crafty Closet. As always, make sure go on and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And I will see you guys on the other side. Stick around to the end to see how it turns out. As always, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. And be well, my friends.